Well, hello for you, and welcome to our lesson on families of polynomial functions. Today's goal, I know what is meant by polynomial family, and I can find specific members of a polynomial family when given some extra information. Um, now, I think you're going to like this lesson because it's not going to be very long or difficult. Um, and we've already kind of talked about this. So we're talking about families of polynomial functions. A family of polynomial functions will all have the same degree and all have the same zeros. That's the definition of a polynomial family. So let's see what else we have here. Uh, since all the zeros are the same, a graph of a family of polynomial functions will all cross the x-axis in the same place. The family will be the same basic shape, but all the local max or mins will be higher or lower. So taking a look, uh, I've asked you to try a couple of things with graphing software. So I would like it if you would put this on pause and pull open Desmos and just take a look at what these two things look like. Um, they technically belong to the family and once again my software is doing this to me. These should not be exponents, they're subscripts. So that's y1 and y2. And so these are two families of, or two members of the same polynomial family. Uh, this one um, has an a coefficient out front of one, and this one has an a coefficient out front of two. And so if you just take a minute to put me on pause and see what those look like. Did you put me on pause? Because I'm going to show you what it looks like, but I'd sort of like you to have a look at it first. Uh, so I'm going to open Desmos right now. Okay, here we are. I've got them typed in already, and so we're going to take a look. This is the one where the coefficient out front is simply 1, and that's what our graph looks like. And now if we stick a 2 in front of it, this is what happens. The maximums get higher and the minimums get lower, and uh, other than that, it looks basically the same shape. These are both part of the same family of polynomial functions. So, um, we actually say they belong to this family. We stick a k out in front. Uh, oftentimes we talked about it being the a value, but this is just, it's kind of a placeholder. It's the multiplier. Oops, multiplier. Um, and I'm just going to pull out this thing so we can talk about it. This is the same two polynomial functions. Um, so you can just see that it gets higher and lower but they cross at the same spot and this is what makes them all part of the same family. The zeros are its basic uh, DNA if you will and um, then this is just how high or low they get. So now I'm going to go through two examples of how to find polynomial functions. This one says determine the family of cubic functions that have these intercepts. Uh, now obviously this is not a nice value. Um, they're not uh, whole number intercepts, so they must have not factored nicely. But oh, we did something like this in the last lesson when we were talking about finding things that had certain zeros. Now we're talking about functions rather than equations. So we can write this in factored form to start with. So I know this has to be y equals k because we need that for our placeholder. And from this negative 3, it must have come from x plus 3, because if I stick negative 3 in for x, this thing's going to go to 0. And then I have x um, minus 3 plus root 2, and x minus 3 minus root 2. Now, this is in factored form, and sometimes it's all right to leave it in factored form. Um, usually it's not okay when you've got something that looks like this because this is kind of nasty and we'd like to get rid of it. Uh, but usually I'll let you leave part of it in factored form so we don't have to expand the whole thing out. We're just going to expand this part out. And the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the inside bracket. So I have x minus 3 minus root 2 and x minus 3 plus root 2. And I'm going to expand this part out leaving this as k times x plus 3 and then when I expand this there's what we get. 
Um, and I got that just by multiplying the x through this set of brackets, multiplying the negative 3 through this set of brackets, and multiplying the negative 2 through this set of brackets. So we ended up with the 9 terms. And as we saw before, uh, we're going to get some cancelling going on here of the things that have square roots in them. Uh, like for instance, I've got this positive root 2x, but the, over here is a, there's a minus root 2x, so those are gone. And a negative 3 root 2 cancels with the positive 3 root 2, and so all of our radicals are gone. So when I collect like terms in there, it's going to be nice numbers that I get. So I've got that single x squared, and then I've got a negative 3 and a negative 3, so that's minus 6x. And then the 9 and minus 2 means that I have a plus 7 on the end. And um, that is the family. So we can leave it like that. This is the family of polynomial functions. I'm not asking for any one in particular. I'm not asking for a member of the family. I'm just asking for the family itself. Now the next example asks for a specific member. A family of cubic functions have these x-intercepts, negative 1, 1, and 2. Find the member that passes through the point 3, 40. Now this is very much the same as one that we've done in previous units. Uh, we're just calling it a polynomial family member now. Uh, so we'll start by saying that this has y equals k. We don't know what k is. Um, we don't need to know k for the family. Uh, then we have x plus 1 x minus 1 and x minus 2 coming from these three uh, zeros. Um, negative 1 would make this bracket 0, positive 1 would make this bracket 0, and 2 would make this bracket 0. Now to find the specific family member we need is it's asking us to find the k value. Uh, and we've done that before. We know that we need an extra point, which I've got here, which is an x and a y. So I'm going to put 40 in for y and 3 in for k. So I get 3 plus 1, 3 minus 1, and 3 minus 2, which means that on this side I get k, 4, times 2 times 1 or 8k equals 40 and that must mean 5 equals k. So therefore the specific family member is y equals uh, 5 x plus 1, x minus 1, and x minus 2. And we're going to leave it at that. We're under the 10 minute mark.